Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and we are back for more Jackoween videos. I am so excited. I love Halloween tutorials. So if you missed my last video, I announced that the series this year is The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm doing a bunch of characters from the movies and my last video, I showed you guys how to get the Pumpkin King. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you Jack Skellington. Ooh, I'm so excited. And quick little side note, yes, I did update my hair color. If you missed my vlog going to the salon, I'll leave it linked in the cards for you guys. So now moving on to step number one for this transformation, which is to block out the brows. We got to get rid of these dark eyebrows. So you can watch my video, which is linked in the cards on how to fully block the brows because I'm going to use a little movie magic to make them disappear. So the next step is to apply our bald cap. So I got a new one from the Halloween store. I think this was only like $11 or maybe $12, something like that. So I'm just going to place it on my head. It was a little tight. I have kind of a larger head than normal people. <laughs> but um, you're just going to place that on and then take a little bit of spirit gum and just place that right underneath and stick it down. Make sure you don't put the spirit gum on any of your actual hair because it will like rip it off and it's going to hurt. So I just start by applying it on the edges of the center of my forehead and then I work down towards the sides of my face as well. Again, make sure you don't put the spirit gum on your actual hair. And I don't know how to actually like really blend bald caps into the skin. Like I, I'm still new to playing with bald caps, but for this makeup transformation, it's not totally necessary because we're going to be making features of our face disappear and this bald cap is going to disappear into the background later on, so you'll see. So now I'm just going to take some white face paint and start sketching out the shape of Jack's face, which is a circle. <laughs> so I'm just using um, an eyebrow pencil or just like eyeliner or something to kind of make this T shape or this cross shape. Um, just as a guideline so I can create kind of like a perfect circle. We, we don't want it to be totally perfect, but I just wanted to use it as a guideline. So that was my little trick earlier, but I'm just taking the white face paint and just creating this circle around my face. And every so often I'm kind of like looking back to see if that's the shape I want and working with this white paint is easy because if you want to change it or if you mess up, you can definitely like just wipe it off and then change it up you know, fix your mistakes. It's super easy. And now this part you can totally ignore because I just wanted to practice right now. So I am just using the white to sketch out um, like the little nose holes, which I actually end up moving them. I don't place them right there. Um, but that's what, like this was just like a little practice run. So now I'm working on the eyes and this is where you can really be creative and figure out which look you want to do because Jack has very expressive eyes. So all throughout the movie, his eyes are changing shapes. You can do them perfect circles, which is kind of like his normal, like just basic look. But I wanted to go for this look. Like it's very expressive. It's kind of like kind of angry, kind of creepy. That's the expression I wanted to go for. So I'm just using that picture as a reference and, and trying to trace that shape across my eyes. And this is another part in the tutorial that you can totally skip out on. I was just practicing where I want the placement for the mouth, which I think I end up changing just a little bit. And we do have to paint the mouth black, so the white really doesn't matter right now. I'm just, again, practicing to get a feel for where I want everything. So now we're going to go in with our white face paint and we're going to paint in the face part. So with the mouth and the nose, you can just totally paint over those and just ignore those but the eye area you want to leave those blank on the inside so just paint the white around it with a like flat concealer brush so you can get nice and precise around the edges so I'm just going to quickly speed this up and paint the whole part of my face white and you want to make sure that the paint is like nice and even and you have this like um, nice opaque layer you don't want it to be splotchy or anything like that. And if you do have a face paint that tends to leave you looking a little splotchy or uneven, try using a white eyeshadow or translucent powder to go right on top to kind of smooth out the face paint. So now that we have that done with the face, we're gonna go ahead and create the neck. So just like the Pumpkin King in my last tutorial, we wanna create a very skinny neck because essentially 
we're creating the same character because the Pumpkin King is Jack Skellington. So we're gonna create a skinny neck again. So just like last time, creating two lines down our neck. And for this next part, you are most definitely going to need a reference picture to look off of um, because we're going to paint on Jack's outfit onto our body. So it can be a little confusing because there's so many lines and stripes. So I am starting out with this like cat little symbol that he has right here on his chest. Um, so I'm starting with that, creating like the two ears and then bringing it down to a point. And luckily there's not a ton of details on this. There's just two um, oval eyes. So it was pretty easy to create. And then from there, we're gonna stem off and create like the, you know, I don't even know what it's called, but like the part of his outfit that sticks out further than his body. The like pointy part we're gonna create that as well and I did mess up a few times so I just had a baby wipe on hand so that I could like wipe it off and try again so it may take a few tries but again make sure you have a reference picture that you can look off of because it's gonna make this so much easier so now that we have like all the sketching done this is the easy part which is just kind of filling in everything so I'm gonna go in with a black face paint and paint in the eyes so we're just tracing that shape that we left from the eye area and just going over that to make it nice and precise around the edges and all that good stuff so now here's the part where I actually create the mouth so I'm just going to create this long line like this smile line from like my cheeks to right below my lips and for the nostrils or the little nose holes I actually am putting them a lot higher. Originally I wanted to use my own nostril holes to kind of blend in with it but my nose is just a lot lower and then Jack's nose is like very high close to his eyes so I felt like this looked a lot better. So now I'm just adding the lines across the smile mark that we added so we can add in his teeth. Super simple, super easy. And this is the fun part because this is where you really get to see the look finally come together. We're going to create all that negative space and make our body part disappear. So I am painting my head and the entire bald cap. Do you guys hear Zoe snoring? I don't know if the mic is picking it up, but she's snoring so loud right now. I forgot where I left off, but we're just using the black paint to paint over the bald cap and around the face and then the body as well so we can remove those body parts and have them disappear into the background. So at this point, we're actually done with the face. All we have to do now is just finish up the clothing part. So we're going to work on his outfit right now. And so I'm glad that we have like the white outline because his outfit is black with white detailing. So if we like just painted it all black, it would blend in with the background. So having that white outline is actually gonna help this look a lot. So I'm glad we did it that way. So I'm gonna start with the white parts. So like the chest area, or I, I mean, I don't know what that part is in his outfit, the shirt, I don't know. But this part of his outfit is white. So I'm going to paint that. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the the spiky part of his outfit. Oh good lord, I don't know what it's called. So the trick with painting this part of the outfit is to make sure you don't paint over the white outlines. Try to keep those visible as much as possible so that way your outfit or like Jack's outfit really like pops out behind the black background. So now that I have the black painted on, there is white like little stripes or marks like detailing, white detailing on the spiky part. So I'm just gonna do these squiggly lines throughout, nothing precise, so it just adds that detail. And now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the black part of his little blazer suit. So again, make sure you don't paint over the white outline, but just fill it in black and then we can create the white stripes that his suit has. And if you have a reference picture in front of you, it's going to make painting on the stripes so much easier because he has some that go horizontal and then some that go vertical. So again, make sure you have that reference picture. And then I'm just gonna go in and make the eyes a little bit larger um, because now that the look is done, I just, I realized I wanted the eyes to be a little bigger. So just going in, fixing a few details and that is it for this Jack Skellington makeup look. This was so much fun to do and I'm obsessed with how it turned out. I hope you guys liked this video and let me know in the comments which character from The Nightmare Before Christmas would you guys like to see next? I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!